，请各位客官三儿，今天呢，适合一张老武汉的故事，跟大家述一下。Hello, my name is Robert. I'm from the Philippines, and I love exploring Chinese culture and its various facets. As part of this journey, I came across one of the interesting traditions of local storytelling: Hubei Ping Shu. What exactly is Ping Shu? How is it done in Hubei Province, particularly in Wuhan? To answer these questions, I went to a performance group in Wuhan to learn more about Ping Shu. Among the renowned artists in Hubei, China, is He Zhuohuan. He is one of China's first-class actors and the representative inheritor of the country's intangible cultural heritage. I talked to him about the beginnings of Hubei storytelling. Ping Shu, Ping Hua. 这样一类就是说故事的这样的曲艺样式，在中国应该是历史最悠长的、最久长的一个曲艺样式。这些记录就说明我们国家的这个说书是历史非常悠久的一个。湖北评书的说法不像北方的大开大合，讲究人物塑造，讲究细节描绘，无细节就无人物。那么，湖北评书的这个特点，讲细节、讲人物这一点上，和苏州评话、扬州评话是异曲同工之妙。然后呢，湖北评书又因为生长在湖北武汉这样一个地方，武汉话是一个很独特的系统，它叫节奏短促，余韵悠长。His teacher always tells him about the need to be creative and innovative. This is where the true art form emerges. I also grabbed the opportunity to learn how to do ping shu. With decades of experience, he passes this art to the next generation. I was also able to talk to one of his students, Guo Chunling, about this. Say, 呃，说实话，做这方面的工作还是挺有意义、挺有意思的。这是个我们流传那么多年的一个呃文艺形式，觉得一定要继承下去。Truly, it takes some passion to carry over the interest in storytelling, one that makes the audience not only listen but feel the emotions in the characters and the plot. 他靠人可以翻过玉带河上的三十几座桥，到后头。In a neighborhood outside the city center of Wuhan, I found that there is a community where Hubei Pingshu thrives. Yang Bo, a local storyteller, usually performs in this community. He uses Pingshu to narrate the stories about China. I joined Yang Bo and went to an elementary school in his community where he teaches Ping Shu. Inside the classroom, the kids are also in their Ping Shu attire and equipped with a standard fan and a small wooden block called Xian Wu. And the class begins. The class was not a usual class. 
The kids interacted with Yang Bo while he narrates a story. I was also caught in the story and listened attentively. Yang Bo said that passing the art of Ping Shu is not like teaching students in a classroom. It is more like mutual sharing of stories. In the Philippines, we also have a simple culture of storytelling called Kwentuhan. Although not an elaborate performance, Kwentuhan in the Philippines has similarities with Hubei Ping Shu. It is about the people's shared heritage, stories, and values. It is a part of human civilization. As I explored Hubei storytelling, a reality kicks in that maybe one day there will be less and less people who will be able to enjoy listening to amazing storytellers like He Zuo Huan, but knowing there are younger artists like Guo Chunling and Yang Bo, and by looking at the kids who are keeping the interest alive, there is hope that Hubei Ping Shu as an art form will continue to flourish. And that is Hubei Ping Shu. This is their story. <laughs>